All right, guys, just wanted to show you this holster I made for William. Uh, won't say his last name because I don't know if he wants me to, so I'll just say William. There's a lot of Williams. And if he's watching, got shit everywhere. If he's watching, uh, this is the Don't Tread On Me print for the Beretta 92, which means it'll fit the Beretta um, FS too. As long as it has a square trigger guard. Um, it'll also fit with a rail. So if William ever got a Beretta with a rail, this holster will also fit that too. So the Beretta holster covers the rail and the non-rail pistol. Okay? So let me show you something. This is the Beretta with the rail. You can see it goes in. Locks in nice. And I don't have any more of this print. I can get more. I will get more. It's, you know, they only let you buy so many pieces. Like you can't, you can't buy like a hundred pieces. You can only buy like, well, I wouldn't buy a hundred pieces anyway. It's too expensive. But I'm just saying if I, if I had the money and I wanted to buy a hundred pieces, you can't. They only let you put four in a card at, at once or something like that. So, but right now I'm out of this. Uh, these, uh, I got two customers that used it this week. Here's an inside the waistband, don't tread on me, for a P365, I believe that is. But I just wanted to explain to you that here's a Beretta with a rail, and then there's your classic Beretta without the rail. It fits both guns, no movement, no wiggle, just to let you know. So if you go on the website, sorry, this camera, I'm used to doing videos over my shoulder, remember that? I'm trying to get used to doing them this way. So if you look at a website and you see a holster for a Beretta 92, it doesn't matter if you have a rail or not. It's going to fit it. The only time it comes into play is if the trigger guard is round. Now some Berettas, do I have one? I don't think I have one. Well, my new one is. I'm going to do the box opening in a minute. Some Berettas, see this corner? They don't have that corner. It goes around. Uh, some of them come like that. And... Uh, it, I don't get it. Some of the ones from Italy are like that. They're, they're round. But I know for, fret, for a fact that 92, the 92X has a round trigger guard. So I don't, I don't think it's going to fit in there. So I'm, I'm hoping they make a Beretta 92X mold. Because I'm getting a lot of requests for 92X Beretta holsters. I'm losing a ton of money because that mold's not available. And I will not buy a blue gun and do it it just takes too long and it doesn't fit as good so i want to wait till they make the good mold so when you get it you get a perfect fit you're not calling me and telling me it's too tight or it's rubbing on your slide and all that nonsense i don't i don't want to have to deal with that you don't want to have to deal with that so if you wait for the good mold they're awesome they don't rub your slide they fit perfect it, it's quicker for me to make it um that's it so there that is. All right. So no rail, rail, holster fits both guns. And uh, this is William's holster. And I, if he's watching, this is getting shipped out today, bro. Came out really, really nice. All right. So I'll put that over there. Now for the video. Beretta finally kicked up some money, I guess, or had a meeting and said, can we stop using piece of shit gun boxes where the clips fall off and the plastic is so thin, it's, it's, it's thinner than a glad trash bag? Seriously, I mean, if anyone has a Beretta box, the old blue ones, they're horrible. I mean, their guns are awesome. They are the oldest gun company in the world. They've been around for 500 years, okay? So if you're the oldest gun company in the world, and you make really high quality guns that are reliable, why would your case be a disaster? Come on, man. So they stepped it up. Now they use the, the case that everyone else is using. It's thicker mill plastic. It has the slide locks on it because these don't come off. The ones they had before, when you flip it up, they break off. It was, it was a ter terrible case. It was such a terrible case. I didn't even want to keep it because I used to hate looking at it. Because it was ugly and it was, and it was cheap. I used to throw it away. 
I used to keep uh, in, a, in a soft case. But this is a nice case. Yeah. So this is the Breda 92X. Let's see what's different about it. Look at that, baby. Now, I ordered this. I got it from Wex Gunworks, Delray Beach, Florida. They shipped it to me, to my local FFL, to my good man, Steve. Very reliable source. And um, it came pretty quick. And it comes with three magazines. Depending on which state you live on, is going to depend on your magazine capacity. Since guns are hard to get, this is the 15 round mag capacity. Normally it comes with the 17 round capacity, but, but because guns are so hard to get, I pretty much said, give it to me anyway. I can always get the 17 round mags. It's not a big deal. So this one came with um, three 15 round mags, but like I said, they come in different packages. So if, if you're in a free state like PA or Florida, or whatever, you can order it with 17 round mags. I'm guessing the gun shop uh, had slim pickings and just said, send it to me, I'll take it. Even though it's 15 rounds mags. It's, 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 you know. So normally it comes with, normally you can get it with 17 round mags if you live in a state that's not limited, okay? All right, so this is the 92X. What I'm probably gonna do is put the G-style decocker on it, because I don't like safeties. That's why I like Glocks. I love that there's no safety. I hate guns with safety. The only gun with a safety I give a pass is a 1911, because it's just, you just accept it, okay? And it has a, it, you know, once it's cocked, it's got a hair trigger. So, you know, I understand that. But I don't wanna think about safeties. Just don't like them. Um, so we're going to do a video on this, installing the decocker only safety, okay? And that's going to be on the Patreon channel. If you're a Patreon, you get to see it. If you want to become one, the link's underneath. It's a very small donation. I, I don't have a limit. Some people are like, you know, they put limits on there, like you have to give so much. That's ridiculous. You should let, let the uh, customer decide as he can give as less as he wants, you know what I mean? So whatever. But if you want to become a Patreon to see gun modification videos, you have to see it over there because uh, YouTube won't allow it. But it, it, they barely allow this, what I'm doing. So they probably won't even put ads on the video. Um, <clears throat> this is a very beautiful gun. Uh, I've had the Wilson Combat and this is, what, this is why I wanted to show you the 92X, is because if you're thinking about the Wilson Combat, this is almost like it, and it's half the price. So when you get the Wilson Combat Beretta, the features you get is a lighter double action trigger, which this has, a dovetail front sight, which this has, Red dot in the front, blacked out rear serrated sight, which this has. I mean, this is what you get with the Wilson. Now, I'm not saying it's 100% like the Wilson. You know what I mean? But it's pretty damn close. So if you don't want to spend $1,000, $1,200, $1, you go with the Beretta 92X, and you got something really, really similar to it. Classic Beretta butter action. Does have a polymer rod. I don't care. All my Glocks have polymer rods. They don't break. You know what I mean? You could get the steel rod if you want. I think the Wilson, you get a steel rod. If you want, if that bothers you, you can get a steel rod. This plastic rod will last you tens of thousands of rods. It does just last. It'll last you a long time. Um, it's it's not an, it's not a, a, an issue for me at all. It doesn't bother me. Um, another thing with the Wilson compared to this one, the Wilson, you get an extended mag release, steel mag release, which this has, they give you that. Okay. And I heard, um, the older Berettas, well, the other Berettas, the, the triggers made out of steel and polymer mixed composite, a mixture of both. So it's semi-plastic. The 92X, it's all steel. Same with the mag release, all steel and the hammer. 
uh, uh, not the hammer, the uh, thumb, thumb safety, trigger, and mag release now instead of mix composite on the Beretta 92X or all steel. So that's cool if it bothers you. Um, so I've had a lot of Berettas and the double action on this is it's smooth. You, you, you can pull right through the wall compared to the other Beretta where it's a little stiffer as the trigger might be a pound heavier. But that's, that's a double action that you could probably pull the trigger and be accurate with. Still not real light, but it's light enough to where you can pull the trigger without moving the gun and still be accurate with it. Now, as far as the single action trigger goes, let's see where that is. Very nice. Let's see what a reset is. Reset is... It's not the best. It's about a quarter inch out. That's a lot of travel. But, but a nice break though. I just hold on, let me do that again. What I mean by when I say a nice break, when you're pulling through the wall, super smooth. So I'm letting it out. Okay, there's your reset. Yeah, it's got a really, really smooth break. So that makes up for the uh, little creep in the beginning, the travel. Okay, empty gun, so I'm gonna do something stupid. So I just want you to see the, the sights on it. There's your sights. I'm looking at them myself. Oh yeah, yeah, a sight comes right up. Uh, the three dot sight system, everyone's getting away from it. It, it kind of takes you longer to line up three dots. When you start training with black in the rear and just one front sight, when you come up with the when you come up with that gun, that sight comes up immediately, and it just it'll make your it'll increase your speed on your target. But fit and finish off the charts, F off the charts. It's your typical beautiful Beretta fit and finish, solid gun, no rattle, glides like butter. I didn't even oil it. This is this is out of the box. Okay, it has the. 1911 slim or vertec uh, frame it has um which i like because i don't have big hands i have medium hands so i don't want to reposition my thumb to have to reach that mag release i don't have to now the other beretta went straight then it went up and around so it made my thumb in about this position i'm exaggerating and i couldn't re reach the magazine so i had to readjust my hand to do that so i'm going to keep it slim but what they do is they give you a wraparound grip with it too with grip screws and to make it like the traditional grip too if you like that better if your hands are bigger they get that comes with it so you get three magazines wrap around grip rough texture grip it's like the rtf if you're familiar with that um, it's the aggressiveness is just right. Okay. It's not irritating, but yet it sticks in your hand. Nice. So three mags and these, these style Berettas, um, they're pretty much like Glocks. You could pretty much bank on it. It's going to be fine. I shouldn't say that cause I just said that about the 1911 I had and, and uh, it wasn't going into battery at first. I had to fine tune it a little, but I'm going to say it again because these Berettas are, um, they're solid on reliability. I love that they got rid of that barrel that sticks out. They cut it flush with the frame, it looks better. And this is the full size. They do have it in compact and they have it compact without the rail. This has the rail. I think it looks great with the rail. And uh, if I wanna put a light on it, It'll look awesome because there's a lot of room for a light on a Beretta and the light won't stick past the muzzle. It'll come right perfect with it. And it's just, just a beautiful gun. This is a nice gun. So that's it, that's all I can say about it from my experience. There's the back. Got a real slim back compared to the other ones. Okay. I love the frame. Feels good in the hand. 
you know, all that bullshit. I like the case because it has uh, fence walls in it. So it has an area for the gun, it has an area for the grip, it has an area for the magazines, and it will shimmy around. So this is actually, this is actually a pretty good functional case to bring back and forth to the range. You know, more than storage. So I like that everything's separated. Keeps everything in place. That's beautiful. So there it is, guys. The Beretta 92X. It comes in stainless steel. It, it have, they, have, they have like a performance center version. They have all kinds of, of versions. But this is a beautiful Beretta. But like I said, rounded trigger guard. Should we try it? Let's see if it works. Nope. No good. No good. Can't put the rounded trigger guard in that holster. So that's what I mean. If you're going to order a holster for the Beretta, just make sure you have the square trigger guard and you'll be fine. Yeah, that sucks. But I don't, I don't understand what the round trigger guard's about. I mean, it looks nice, but what's the advantage of why did they change it? What's, what, what's the advantage? I don't get it. I should have left that alone. But other than that, beautiful gun. And uh, when am I going to shoot it? Who the hell knows? Double action is still closed. Uh, they're remodeling it. And uh, a lot of people wanted to know what happened there. Well, the guy, the guy retired. Mike retired. He wanted to sell it. He's been doing it for forever. And he wants out. I don't, you know, I don't blame him. Uh, someone else bought it. Uh, I don't see me going back there. You know what I mean? I might shoot there, buy a membership just like a stranger, because there's nowhere to shoot. But I probably won't be working there because uh, the holster business is is more beneficial to me than working there. So it's it's really working out well, thanks to you guys. And you know, I try to make them good. You know, that, that's the secret. You got to make things good for people to talk good about you. And uh, that's one of the one of the secrets to uh i think starting your business you gotta you gotta put out a great product there's a lot of competition out there there's a lot of talented people out there all right i'll talk to you guys soon i'm gonna fart in about nine seconds <laughs>